To push 5G technology boundaries, Qualcomm has been building a test platform end-to-end, -end, including 5G next-gen core, 5G Genobis, and the modified test devices based on Qualcomm Snapdragon modem and RF system. In this demo, we'll be utilizing a 5G standalone network at 3.5 gigahertz with 100 megahertz bandwidth in San Diego, California. This is covering Qualcomm's Sorrento Valley campus. As you can see in the short video, our massive MAMO array is mounted on top of a building. Um, this particular array has 256 RF elements and 64 digital chains. And on the device side, we used um, a Snapdragon-based uh, smartphone. In the case of uh, one user per cell, we can achieve one gigabit per second at 670 meters. This is achieved with average number of la layers of two. Now we can add more users to the system with two users, four users, and up to eight users in the system. Once we have eight users in the cell, the network is delivering 16 layers per G node B and uh, five gigabits per second per hertz. So in 100 megahertz, this translates into 50 bit per second per hertz, which is an order magnitude higher than current system. The technology behind this high performance is both standard-based sounding technique and the Qualcomm proprietary signal processing technologies at the Gino B and the UE side. We have an ambition of uh, further improve this network. Uh, in another video, you will see a description of um, multi-RTT and AOA-based positioning and the sub and full duplex massive memo array. As a first step, I'm going to show you the 5G positioning performance here. With the uh, angle of arrival detection and the Gino B, a typical user angle of arrival error at the UE side is only about one degree, which is very promising. Our test network is not only used to test and verify a modem and RF designs, but also used to develop advanced 5G services. In this demo, we are going to show you a seamless, mobile, boundless augmented reality experience. By boundless augmented reality, what we meant is the AR experience is not limited to the processing capability of the AR goggle and smartphone, but also it's supported by the edge server, connected with the ultra low latency, high capacity 5G link. In this particular case, this user is wearing an AR goggle that's tethered to a smartphone, which is connected to the 5G network. She is now seeing a HD video through her field of view. And in the video, there's advertised a 3D 5G massive MAMO array model. Now she opens the model and start to browse the model. As you can see, she is checking out the antenna subarray, which can be positioned and uh, rotated uh, at her will. Note the very immersive experience she is having. Now she is boarding a bus, and on the bus, she will be passing time by playing an AR video game. This game is cloud streamed to the device, and uh, she is using her smartphone as a controller. The uplink data is for her head post and controller information, and the downlink data is for the video streaming.